Alright, so last time we finished up the overgrown ruins and we managed to steal ourselves a practice sword for a bludgeoning option in melee. Watch your back. It is now time to focus on finding Nettie. Yeah. Take your time. Get a feel for him. If I must. Oh, um, I. I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. So, what's your side of the business? What? Um. I'm the guard? So, don't steal anything! I'm watching you. Don't steal anything? Why, what better way to get me to steal something is there than to tell me not to? Unfortunately, Doni also came from the other side, so let's try putting it just putting one just behind him. Keep your distance, darling. They have dark vision, so I won't be able to hide behind them. I'm gonna have to do something else to make this work. Like, wait for this moment where they're not watching each other. On tippy toes, let's have a rummage. There's actually a lot here. Uh, let's just pick one thing, like this magic ring, a and then let's unseen. leave. Uh, although, instead of exiting turn-based mode this quickly, Let's use one round of double dashing away. One step at a time. I'll keep the goblins out forever. This is no warriors. No oh, I'm not even in turn base mode. Did they just not notice at all? Keep it quick. All right, I'll take it. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Oh, blood and rust. Someone stole the damn ring. I might have had something to do with that. You? You skimmed me. I was trying to skim you. <laughs> Keep the ring. No hard feelings. That was some sharp work, mate. But word to the wise, you should probably let my boss know you're working here. Is your boss part of the Thieves' Guild? The Thieves' what? <laughs> no. I mean, I don't think so. Look, just talk to Mull. She's through that crack in the wall. She'll tell you what's what. Time to go. 
Did I do good? What do you think? I think I did good. There you go, Sylph. Is one use of this guy's self. Let's turn ourselves into a halfling. And now we can fit. And we don't really need to not be a half. We don't need to be a halfling anymore. We we got what we wanted out of it. And then here's this person mole that they told me to talk to. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. I appreciate you teaching Mattis a lesson too. Kids should be more careful with his rings. Hmm. Happy to help. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? Do you have anything to trade? Oh. I intend to have Fog Cloud as a spell of my own, but I'll certainly stock up on scrolls when I can. When, you know. Anything else? What are you doing down in this oh, cave? Yeah. Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. Astarian's not really a helpful sort. I'll just You've been leave. a friend to us. Come back anytime. Never see us coming. Hmm. I suppose I won't steal from the kids at this time. Now there is this wicker chest over there. Thankfully, we have a flying little companion. Who currently has a 21 strength and can throw it across the gap. little area Any language I recognize. and this comes outside of the concealed hatch that we saw before in the meantime now nobody is watching this stuff Okay. Scott free. Tread carefully. Please, last room. It is forbidden. Someone caught you stealing. Best give them a good reason not to kill you. Really? Talk your way out of it? Deception.
the guard is impassive. Your little speech was unconvincing. I am not spending 440 gold on that. Um, I'm gonna say attack, but really, we're just gonna escape. Temporarily hostile, right? Everybody is temporarily hostile. Make sure I don't cross their line of sight. Quickly. She killed my mage hand, which does mean I'm actually going to have to long rest now before I go anywhere. Which is actually going to kill off two of my elixirs of giant strength. Well, I'll have to do one. I probably won't give Astarian another elixir tomorrow. That's kind of a... How did she see this stealing from over here? Like... I am not understanding how I'm being automatically caught all these times. I'll be right back. I tried to look it up. I don't know what the answer is. Um, Maybe I'm relying too much on the sight lines. Maybe people have a much larger radius of being able to detect you when you're stealing. I don't know, but it's really annoying. Be brief. It seems this individual doesn't think very highly of you, but few can resist a well-timed gift. I'm not giving you anything. Probably must be the same. Terrified. This individual doesn't seem particularly fond of you. Perhaps a gift would improve their sentiment. Nope. <laughs> Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. Why? What's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Korga's orders. I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. This is an amusing little uh, side effect, though, of me getting caught sealing and them getting involved in a combat with me briefly. This cutscene never triggered, which means Magram never actually turned into a bear, but he's coded to be a bear. You're lucky I'm not in bear form. Back off. Oh, they included a line for it at least, but you, you notice his, his uh, mouth didn't even move. At least they these aren't even do. set as claimed. There's probably nothing in them. Ah, my grizzled friend. What can you tell me about this place? Let's see. 
Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy enough as is. Just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. First off, I do want to trade with this person. Because I do want this whispering promise to give blessed mercy on a ring. When you heal a creature, it gains plus 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws for two turns. And normally I'd buy some potions of healing too, but I'm actually kind of low on money. And there's no overstating my disinterest. I have no time for questions. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Leave. Thank you for the ring. Yes. Yes, I see. By Sylvanas, the tree father, our turmoil is calm. I wish I could understand you. this flat rock. If you move it, there's this amulet of Sylvanas underneath. <laughs> Which can give you a restoration once a day. I think I'm going to keep my situational um, my situational equipment in a pouch. And then I'm going to put that pouch on my custom bar. And that way, when I want to change one of these out, I can do so relatively quickly. Meanwhile, this bear will basically catch fish forever. If you are patient enough, as long as you haven't left Act 1, you can always have enough camp supplies to rest. fish. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Yes, yes, I'm quite aware. Making sure I'm clicking on the mugwort and not the sickle there. Sylvanas, the forest father, we are granted balance. Fly quick. Fly safe. Yeah, 
And this is Tuffet that we've seen from a couple of different uh, sources has gotten too lazy, and sure enough, she's sleeping. The unfortunate portion of which is she's sleeping on this elevator, which could give us a way back up there quickly. We can hit the lever, but... <laughs> Won't budge. One of these options is throw a fish next to the elevator. If you do that, I believe it automatically chooses a fish. I want to specifically use the one that's worth only one camp supply. So I'm just going to throw it myself. Um, you know what? I think I broke it. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, fine. I will drop a fish here. Oh, I guess that's not sufficient after all. You do have to use the dialogue option. for a healer. Help me narrow the search. Find Annette in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Thank you. And these people are... These people are busy chanting, but there's too many of them too close together to use the distraction to my advantage and pick any pockets. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. I'm not particularly interested in this. Oh, one of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. I don't see why I would care about this. Keep silent. Now, Wrath. No. Atheus, Tila, to me. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? 
the remains. Continue the right. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. She's dead. Koga, we are guardians, not killers. Spare your tears. She knew the danger. She still tried to run. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Not at all. That was quite a show. Monsters both, then. Viper to viper. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Free from the threat of little children? While I don't care, that's just too snarky and funny not to say. She stole the idol of Sylvanus during prayer, and interrupted the rite. Why? I don't know or care. I am interested in powerful magic. This rite must be born of it. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Us, in a certain way, that sounds almost tempting, but we still have the tadpole in our head that won't be solved by hiding forever. And also, I don't buy for one second that Cazador wouldn't be able to get in. Uh, but I don't care enough to say either of those, so I'll just leave. rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from its roots. The mural depicts druid and beast fighting together to drive monsters from their land. It looks like they were victorious, and yet the monsters have returned. By claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanus, god of nature. In darkest hour, a concord made twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild? You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. The towers seized, the battle done, the moonrise broke the darkest one. You recognize the mark of the Dark Goddess Shah on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. Moonrise must be a reference to Shah's divine sister, Saluna. So, I don't have the proper party members to get the inspiration for that, but if you do make all four of those checks, and then you go on to investigate Kaga, uh, you will unlock a dialogue option where you don't need a, a role in order to convince her to abandon the Shadow Druids. That being said, I'm just six... The DC was 10. Guidance got that one. <coughs> yep. Guidance made the difference in two of those checks. 
We never meant to hurt a child. You should leave. This grove has been disrupted enough. Goblin attacks, and now a dead child. We never should have opened our gates. Mercy on us, Sylvanus. Mercy. 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 Out of these, I guess I'll say it was a terrible accident. Preventable. A sickening result of sickening beliefs. We let this happen. We let this snake replace our leader. Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. I'm looking for Nettie. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Sounds like I'd better leave. It is what Korga desires. I doubt it is what Sylvanus wants. The Rite of Thorns. Interwoven prayers and incantations snake across one side of the page. Written on the other are instructions for performing the Rite of Thorns. When the prayer is complete, thorns and bramble rise from the earth, protecting from harm all who chanted it. Investigate Kaga. Actually, we have a few. <laughs> Save Arabella. A child called Arabella was killed by Kaga's snake. We should find her parents and tell them what happened. Save the first druid. The druid Wrath has told us that the first druid Halsin might be the only one capable of stopping Kaga from finishing the ritual. He was going to goblin territory. Investigate Kaga. The Rite of Thorns is dangerous magic. Why is Kaga so determined to do this? We should investigate. Kaga, leader of the Druids, wants to speak with us. We already did that, didn't we? A lot of stuff to be stolen in here. But wh nowhere to go if I get caught. Let's try to talk to Kaga again since it's still highlighted in the journal. Yes? I'm told there is a healer here. Where is she? Nettie, yes. She's bumbling about somewhere. But if your treatment is meant to outlast the right, you'll be removed with the rest. Uh. There we go. I see you. Just give me a moment. Excuse me, I'm more important than some bird. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. This medicatrix. 
There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Healing, as soon as possible. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. There's no point in coming here if I don't say something. More than tired, something crawled into my eye. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth and tentacles? What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped into my eye. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. So you killed him and laid him out on a table? No. That was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Just hurry up and cure me. I don't have time to chat. First things first. Tell me, have you noticed anything unusual? Not just symptoms. Any strange events? No, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. Nothing? You sure? Nothing, I'm sure. All right. I suppose that makes things easier. Give me your arm, please. What is that? A cure. Now your arm, please. You don't have time for games. Hold out your arm. There. Be careful. Your legs will probably give out first. What in the hells have you done? I'm sorry. Maybe Master Halson could have plucked it from your head. But I can't. Without him here, the only treatment for an illicit tadpole is death. You're a risk to the people around you. I'm truly, truly sorry. For what it's worth, the poison is painless. It'll be like going to sleep. So, there's these options, but I think those require more patience than with Asturian. You poisoned me! Please, try to relax. This doesn't have to be hard. Examine the branch, or grab the branch and try to identify the poison. I don't know which of these will be better. I'll... I'll try to grab the branch. And I do have guidance. But I also have natural ones. It's too late. It's already in your system. You try to find a clue among the thorns, but there's nothing. You have no idea what poisons tainted your veins. Whatever this is, you had better have an antidote. You can't have it. I can't risk you turning. You'd kill us all. Give me the God's Damned Antidote. I won't. I can't. You can't do this. Your leader needs to talk to me. 
would I rather have? I'll go with friends. Gods above. It's a risk, but maybe you deserve a chance. All right. Master Halson did say the drow's tadpole was dormant. Maybe yours is too. Now this is a vial of wyvern poison. It's quick and painless. Swear to me you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. No, absolutely not. Then I'm sorry, but I can't. You're too dangerous. By rights, your teeth should be falling out and your skin turning grey. I don't know why you haven't changed, but I can't risk you suddenly turning into a mind flare. Do whatever you need to, but we're not leaving this room until it's over. Well. Wyvern toxin elix neutralizes the effects of all poisons. Steel. Stop it! You're not gonna find the antidote. Then help me. Give me a chance to beat this. I can't. I can't let you endanger this camp. Please, just sit down. Make your prayers. Let things take their course. That failed. So now... I'll see if there's anything in Master Halson's notes. He didn't find a cure, but maybe we can make him comfortable. She's got high wisdom, huh? And a good save. So it's not bloody likely, which means I should start. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. But I should try. Actually... I should blade war. And also... Activate bless on myself. Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the end. Okay, f fair. Tasha's hideous is still going to have whatever chance it has. Saved. Critical miss. Dropped my weapons. Ah! Detona! Oh. 
still have Bless on. So I'll go over there. Hide. My way. Yes, here. anyway wow let's go position. My stats are reduced by two, huh? Drink that. We managed to find a cure for the venom Nettie used, but we're still no closer to a cure for the parasite. Nettie couldn't help us. Instead, she poisoned us with deadly venom, hoping to kill us before we turned into Mind Flayers. She's got another one of these. We've already got one. And we've already been in here. All right. I should re-equip my... my weapons. Dread lightly. But honestly, if I close that door... It's there's nothing to stop me from taking everything in this room here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Druid Notebook. 
This ancient notebook whose ink is faded and pages are starting to crumble, it's not easy, but some words can still be made out. Kethrick is finished, but it cost us the land. Darkness has fallen. Corruption is everywhere. Chased by shadows, picking us off druids and harpers alike. Our wounded were safe. I returned, searching for survivors. Lost, but I found his shade. I put it to rest and took his glaive. Blade infused with shadow, I have locked it away to serve as a reminder that even victory can taste bitter. Alright, I've taken what I can from here. With only one witness, but I don't think Astarian respects animals enough to even consider that a threat. And with that, we're going to break until the next video. Oh,